Premier, the Jaguar R Coupe F Type. Change is underway at Citroen. The Chorus 3 is targeting the European market. A family visit to the show. This R Coupe F Type will go down in history. The last two seater coupe from Jaguar was none other than the legendary E Type. For this comeback, Jaguar has redesigned its F Type Cabriolet. The coupe version is even more seductive. Uh, for me, it's a very special car because the shape of it is very exciting. That's part of my job to make it exciting. Very, very pure lines of the car, which we always try to, to build into our designs. We want to build beauty into the cars. And it's important for us that a Jaguar always looks beautiful. It's just simply a beautiful car. This F-Type R is a real sports car. The V8 compressor version, 550 HP. Maximum speed of 300 kilometers an hour. To get the most out of this beast, the designers have optimized the cockpit. And the thing I love is that this whole area here is really built and designed around the driver. So it's very much driver, a driver-orientated cockpit. I mean, there's lots of tactile switches. It's important for us to have switches which felt very mechanical. It's a sports car. I didn't want too many just electronic touch buttons. I wanted things that you could touch, like, like these switches have a real tactility to them. The price of the F-Type Coupe range starts at 67,000 euros. For this Radical R version, the price leaps to 104. A bargain, really, to have the chance to drive this beautiful English car. The revolution is coming to Citroen this year. The PSA Group is launching a major restructuring of its Citroen brand. The new head of Citroen has already said that the DS line will become a DS brand, which means that it's going so well for the quirky car that it will become an entirely separate brand. But that also means that will cast a bit of a shadow over the Citroen brand itself. The path of the DS in the premium category may be already mapped out, but the rest of the range needs to reinvent itself and change its DNA. And the C4 Cactus is the first element in this plan in creating a sort of new image of Citroen, with a return to the brand's inventiveness. Like the Cactus, the other cars in the range are set to get rid of anything unnecessary, including any excess weight. There's also innovation in terms of the car's weight. What passengers in the back need, for example, is air. To get some air, they just need to open the window like that. And then the seat opens in a single movement. It's no longer divided into two, which means that they've been able to save some 20 kilos by doing that. The streamlined cactus now weighs just 965 kilos, and it's saving on petrol too, just 3.2 litres per 100 kilometres an hour. Citroen's on the hunt for a new family client base. The spirit of the 2CV has returned. Chinese manufacturer Chorus unveiled the world premiere of the five-door version of its compact saloon in Geneva. Christened the Chorus 3 hatch, the small car seems poised to conquer the European market. The, the design is a little more emotional, more trendy, more sporty, and uh, that's why younger people buy that, especially in China where you have this uh, 25 to 35 year old who buy it, which have the money. 4.44 metres, the Chorus 3 hatch is positioning itself as one of the larger models in its segment. 18 centimetres longer than the Golf 7, the spaciousness in the back is setting the standard. The car is, uh, has, uh, is very roomy inside for the class, especially in China. They want to, they want to kind of use the car for, for living and they drive with their families, they drive with their parents, so that's why legroom is uh, very important. This Chorus is still at the top of its game in terms of safety. Like the Chorus 3 sedan, which was voted safest car in 2013, the three hatch was awarded five stars in the Euro NCAP crash test. The weekend is the time to discover the motor show as a family. Some people have travelled a long way and covered several hundred kilometres overnight, like this couple who came with their little daughter, Miles. It was more me, really, who got my husband into the car sector. We didn't plan for my daughter to come with us to the show, but then she started sulking. 
so Mylis did come with her parents and certainly won't forget her visit to the Porsche stand, where she was able to sit at the wheel of her dreams. That was funny. It's true, we don't have many cars like that at home. Actually, we don't have any. The little family wandered around the aisles of the show all day. Their only concern was losing sight of one another among the crowds. When we realise we can't see each other anymore, we don't leave the stand and we go to the welcome desk there. The family left to return home to the east of France at the end of the afternoon. Mylis' smile tells us everything we need to know about her day. Don't forget to visit our Facebook page to vote for your dream car.